What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another wax party break. Jaspie's 8-box out-of-the-park baseball mixer number 3 just sold out. All card ship, guys. Chasing bat knobs, booklets, cut autographs, and much more. Remember, for the autograph baseballs, current team, if active, teams that play for the longest, if retired, multi sign autograph baseballs will be randomized at the breaker's discretion. And I think what we'll end up doing is uh, just kind of treating it like the Fanatics breaks we've been doing. So, obviously, uh, you know, multi sign. We'll have to see if it's all one team or if it's multiple players on different teams. And then, of course, like uh, if it's a, if it's a baseball that has a specific season, you know, uh, a team, something like that, then we're gonna give it to that team. You know, not the team that currently the the players play for, especially if it indicates like a specific season or player team. Um, and yeah, I mean, for the most part, I think that's pretty much it. And then. Box of Dynasty, two boxes of Triple Threads, two boxes of Five Star, and then three autographed baseballs. Then we'll come back, we'll randomize these customer names, and then of course the top uh, name at the top gets the Wax Party deal. Alright, so James got last by Mojo Diamondbacks, everybody else of course in. And yeah, let's start off with some Five Star, and we'll move to Triple Threads, then we'll do the autographed baseballs, and then we'll end off with Tops Dynasty Baseball. Alright, we got a Randy a Rosarania for the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays, of course, is Tristan. And how about an Ichiro? Very nice. Three out of 15 for the Seattle Mariners. That is going to Carl. We've got the Mariners in this break. What a great box. Randy, of course, having a great season. And uh, next one. Oh, we got Reed Detmers. And nice, Bobby Wood Jr. Man, what a great two boxes. Kansas City Royals, Tim. And then Angels is Mark. What a great two boxes there. Bobby Witt, Randy Rosarena, and Ichiro. And a Reed Detmers. He had a no-hitter last year, I believe, right? All right, here we go. Two triple threads. Or mini boxes, I should say. All right, we got Ryan Sandberg for the Chicago Cubbies, which is going to Kennard. And out of 50, George Brett for the Kansas City Royals, going to Tim. And we got a triple relic and autograph for the Phillies. That is Scott Rowland, Ryan Howard, and Jim Tomey. Nice one there for the Phillies, going to Greg. Nice triple autograph right there. And then we have a Joe Ryan. Okay. 
Garrett Cole, 1099. Yankees. Eugene. And then Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. Going to Brian to 253. We got a Relic here. Second half. Austin Riley to 18. And then we have a Nelson Cruz for the Nationals. Going to 99. Nationals is Jeremy last spot. Well, not last spot mojo. Second last spot mojo, I guess. Alright. Next one. Brian, uh, Bryson Stott to 150 for the Phillies, and then a Bryce Harper to 189 for the Phillies. And we got a patch autograph there, Seth Beer to 99, triple relic and auto for the Diamondbacks going to James, and then for the Red Sox, Jaron Duran relic. Mark McGuire, Oakland A's, Jeremy Port, and then we got a Roy Campanella for the Dodgers. All right, we got a nice triple relic, Mariners, Carl for that one, with that one, Julio Rodriguez, Jerry Kellenegg, and Kyle Lewis to 18, and then a Paul DeJong, patch autograph. Alrighty, folks, there you go. So now, let's uh, go with the baseballs. And we do have some time to play. A little, what does Jolly say? America's uh, best game, America's best game out there. Let's see. I think I can see the autograph already. Yeah. This guy does pop up a lot. Well, at least in breaks, at least a lot. But still a nice one, though. All right, I'm a former MLB um, catcher. Played catcher uh, from 1969 to, damn, 1993. It's a long time. Had a couple of nicknames. Don't want to say them because I might actually... Give it up right away. Uh, played for this team the longest, though. Uh, from 1969 and then 71 to 80. Then played with a second team for about just as long, actually. Like 12 more years. And a unanimous uh, rookie of the year. F Fisk is best known for his game-winning home run. And yeah, you guys already know it anyways. Might as well say his name. Uh, in the 12th inning of Game 6 in the 1975 World Series. But man, he played forever. <laughs> and yeah, part of the Baseball Hall of Fame, second ballot in 2000. Had a batting average of 269, which is kind of low, I guess, right? But I mean, I guess he's a catcher, right? Home runs, 376. Had two over 2,000 hits, though, 2,300 hits. And then uh, one, uh, 1,300 runs batted in, but played for a long time, though. Yeah, you can tell right away from, like, the autograph, though. I, I mean, I recognize this from a while now. 
My autograph, uh, autograph of baseball or just autographs in general have gotten a lot better. Just because I see a lot of these now, all the time. Alright, and uh, of course, Carlton Fisk, I mean, technically did play for two teams. Um, so let's look up and see who he played for the longest, technically. And actually, ended up playing for the Chicago White Sox the longest. 13 years, actually. 1,400 games to uh, 1078. So that's going to go to the Chicago White Sox. Which, of course, uh, White Sox, that is uh, Harris. gold balls or multi-sign autograph baseballs. It'll be kind of cool. Hmm. That one's kind of cool, actually. This one actually has an inscription. Alright. Let's see if you guys can get this one, guys. I'm a current active third baseman in the MLB. I was uh, selected in uh, the 2018 MLB draft. Third overall in the 2018 MLB draft. Um, my current lifetime batting average right now is 276 with 30 home runs. 179 uh, RBIs, and I played for one team my entire career, and um, did have a little bit of struggle during the COVID season and, and after that, but of course the team he played for had a pretty darn good run uh, this past season, and I'm trying to look up his stats and right now, let's see what his current batting average is right now. Not Bobby, but Sportport did get it already, though. <laughs> right now, currently, I'm batting 270 with 37 RBIs, 6 home runs. Yeah, Sportport got it, guys. It, it's, it's Alec Bohm. Third overall pick in 2018. Which, I was saying, has an inscription. Which actually is kind of cool. It's his, his debut. So, Phillies, which is Greg. Kind of got a kind of cool autograph baseball. Inscription that it says MLB debut on 8 13 2020. There you go, man. Solid. Yeah, he's a length. He is pretty lengthy, right? I mean, he's six five. Dude's a monster. Six five, two eighteen. Greg says he changed up his approach with the uh, power guys. He leads in RBIs on the team. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's... It's not, like, super old. Still, still 26 years old, but... And then made his debut as a 24-year-old. Because I think he went to college, didn't he? I mean, I think that's the reason why he was kind of a little bit of a later... I think he... Yeah, he went to Witches Hall State for college. 
so that kind of makes sense why he's a little bit older. Alright, actually, <laughs> actually, I might not even know who this guy is, but I did see who it is. So, is this it? Hold on. Yeah, it's gotta be him. <laughs> Alright. Last uh, baseball here, guys. I am a, a former MLB left fielder. Who played from 1959 to 1976. Mostly entirely for one uh, organization. Six-time All-Star. Was named 1961... NL Rookie of the Year after hitting 25 home runs, 86 RBIs. Um, ended up having a career batting average of 290. 2,700 hits, 426 home runs, and 14, over 1,400 RBIs. Basically played my entire career for this one club, but did end up playing for a second team, which is the Athletics, for the last two years of his career. And yeah, his number 26 is retired on the team he played for the longest. And is part of their Hall of Fame. And was a 6th ballot induction Hall of Fame in 1987 with 85.71 voted. I mean, I can give you the team he played for the longest. Maybe people can get that. There you go. James got it. And yeah, I am Billy Williams. Which I believe says Hall of Fame logo ball. So I have the little Hall of Fame logo on the baseball. And that's where he signed it right there. There you go. So, uh, yeah, Chicago Cubs. Yes, I guess technically... Well, uh... Actually, no. I think you're wrong, G-Lo. His name is actually Billy Leo Williams. So I think they actually named him Billy, not William. Or like Bill, you know? I mean, at least that's what it says on Wikipedia. Billy Leo Williams. All right, and then Cubs is Canard. I, uh, <laughs> I I say the same question with like some of my like Mexican uh, <laughs> Mexican like uh, cousins, uh, my family members. I should say like how they get like a nickname this to that. I'm like, what the hell? But whatever, that's just the way it is, right? And. Uh, Alrighty guys, here we go, final box. This is the Big Mama. Hopefully we do have a big, big hit hiding in here. Uh, obviously this will make and break someone's break right here. If you haven't hit anything, this could change it all right here. Uh, but like I said, I think we do have enough for one more mixer, at least. So, uh, I will repost this. But here we go guys, hopefully we get a monster. Three-color patch. Looks like either Angels or Cardinals. And we got Paul Goldschmidt. Three out of ten. Nice for there for the St. Louis Cardinals going to Dalton. There you go. So... 
So there you go, guys. That was it. So we got a Paul Goldschmidt there. We got a triple relic. A couple of nice autos there in the uh, triple threads, triple autograph. And we had a couple of nice boxes there of five star guys. So again, now let's switch scenes and let's do the giveaway of the uh, of the uh, wax party. So let's gather up the names. And then let's click the dice roll. Three and a three, six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times. Three and a three, six. Six. And Ryan G, congratulations. Boom. At the top. So there you go, Ryan. Is that. No, I don't think that's your second time. Uh, that was another Ryan. Yesterday. There you go, man. Very nice. So this was the Out of the Park Baseball Mixer uh, number three. This was number two, actually. So let's paste your name in there. And congrats, man. You got us an uh, invite to the wax party. So again, guys, I got to go through orders, print out the labels, all that good stuff. And then we have one more break coming up, and that'll be our last break of the night, guys. Thank you.